gorgeous welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell to be notified every single time I upload but today's video is gonna be all around shaving in particular the bikini line and the downstairs if you guys know what I mean YouTube doesn't like when we use certain words so we're gonna have to go with that you guys know I don't shy away from these types of topics I've done so many videos around things like how to get rid of dandruff and body odor and talked about acne and body hair is just a part of life once we hit puberty we start seeing hair coming out from all different places that honestly we wish just would never happen but it does and of course removing hair is a personal choice but this video is going to be my tips and tricks on how to get a smooth shave so that you avoid those red bumps ingrown hairs and all the things we don't like when it comes to shaving so I hope this is useful thumbs it up if it is share it if you guys liked it maybe I'll do another video around body hair but before I jump into it quickly I just wanted to tell you that I'm probably going to be changing my upload schedule so I'm no longer going to upload on Sundays I'm going to try to upload every Tuesday and Thursday click the bell though to make sure that you guys know when I drop a video but I'm really going to try I think to not upload on weekends anymore so I can just get videos out during the weekdays. But on that note, let's just jump right into what this video is about. Before I get into all the steps on how to get that perfect shave, a tip I have for you that's super big is to shave at night before you go to bed. I always like to do this or try to. I know there's those times that you really are in a rush or you need to shave right away, but to get the perfect smooth shave, it's much easier to do it at nighttime before you go to bed. And that leads me to step number one, which is to trim the hair down there as much as possible before you go in and shave. You should actually be trimming down to about a quarter inch long before you go ahead and take your razor and shave in that area. This is really just going to help prevent irritation and it's going to give you a better, smoother shave. So in order to trim down, it's important to use a pair of baby scissors and make sure they are not dull and they are sharp. And you also wanna make sure they're always sterilized before using scissors down there. Of course, if your hair is not too long to begin with, then this is a step that you could totally skip overall. And that leads me to step number two, which is now to soak in the tub for at least five to 10 minutes before going ahead and shaving that area. You wanna make sure that you're soaking in the tub before so that your hair softens and you're less likely to lead to irritation and any sort of cuts, bumps, and ingrown hairs. If you're not much of a bath person and you don't typically take baths, you could always do the same thing in the shower where you go ahead, wash your hair first, condition your hair, wash your body, and then go in as the last step before leaving the shower and shave so you had enough time to kind of soak in the water to make sure that you soften the hair. It's way worse to go in when it's completely dry. That's going to lead to those bumps and lead to irritation. After you trimmed and you soaked in your bathtub, the third step is to exfoliate. And I feel like a lot of us may know now that to get the perfect and best shave as possible is to exfoliate before you go ahead and shave. And that means the same thing for down there. And I feel like a lot of us may not actually do this step. So I'm gonna share with you what I use to exfoliate there. And it's just this little bee here. So this is actually from Lush and it's called the Scrubby. Anything I do talk about, I will try to link it down below. You wanna make sure when you are using an exfoliant down there that you are using a gentle exfoliant. And this one is perfect because it has those moisturizing strips as well as those exfoliant strips. And I will be showing you guys a demo. And of course, I'm doing this on my leg to share with you guys. But you guys can see that there's little beads that come Come from this bee but it's also super moisturizing so it's not going to be really harsh on the skin and you want to make sure that when you are rubbing this down in that area that you're really gentle and you're not really aggressive when you are scrubbing and trying to remove all the dead skin cells a little tip when using any sort of product down there even when you are washing yourself down there you always want to make sure you apply products on the outside and not the inside of your lady bits I feel weird saying that but we're gonna have to go with it you're not not supposed to actually put any sort of product up there so the reason why you want to exfoliate even down there is because you want to get rid of all the dead skin cells this is really going 
going to help remove irritation and also reduce the chance of getting those ingrown hairs. Once you go ahead and you exfoliate that area down, you can go ahead and wash that area now. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I use and I just use a simple bar of soap. This is actually the native one and it's the unscented one. You wanna use unscented products, especially down there. It can lead to irritations and issues. This one's really great because it's natural, it's unscented, and as well as it's free of any sulfates and parabens, I totally recommend checking out their soaps. They even have body wash versions, but they're just all natural. And I love to use natural products, especially when you're putting it down to such a sensitive part of your body. So like I said, you really want to also make sure that you're washing the outside as opposed to the inside, because if you actually wash in the inside, it can actually disrupt the natural cleansing process that we already have. So we're already built to clean there. So now that we did all those steps, we are finally at the shaving part. So you soaked in the bath, you trimmed if needed, you exfoliated and washed, and now you can go ahead and apply your shaving cream. So I'm going to share with you what I use for myself and I find works best for me and I totally recommend it. And that is just using plain old coconut oil. So this is organic virgin coconut oil. It is cold pressed and unrefined. I totally recommend coconut oil as a shaving cream. And I just find this is really great because it does the job. It's way more natural. It's also so moisturizing. So it's going to really be great for this process. And the reason why I love shaving with coconut oil is actually for all the benefits that coconut oil gives as well. So coconut oil is really great to shave with because it acts as an anti antioxidant and it also has so many antibacterial properties to it as well as it really helps to reduce skin irritation it also reduces skin inflammation and it helps with repairing the skin barrier and as well as it contains so many fatty acids making it super super moisturizing whenever you shave all you have to do is apply a thin layer and that also goes with if you end up using any shaving creams or whatever you typically use you don't want to use too much where you're gonna have to shave so many strokes to get down because you put way too too much shaving cream down there. You wanna make sure you put just a thin layer of the coconut oil and then you can go ahead and take your razor and shave. And that leads me to the next step, which is to use a sharp razor and not to use a dull razor. So I am over here to share with you my razor. And hello, this is actually a male razor and this is a little hack and trick. Men razors are actually amazing. It's also more gentle and as well as when men shave their hair on their face, their hair on their face is pretty coarse. And sometimes it's the same texture in a way. So I always recommend using a men's razor, picking one up. This is the edge. It's important to invest in a good razor. Those little cheap razors that have like one blade and they're disposable are horrible. They cause so many cuts and irritations and bumps and it's just gonna be a mess. This one's really great because it's a four blade razor and I always recommend using a four blade razor when it comes to down there. You want to make sure however you're changing the razor blades out quite regularly because it can lead to razor burn and rashes which we do not want down there. Also when you are done with your razor don't keep it in the shower. Always store it in a cool dry place. This is going to avoid any bacteria growth on your razor. Now we're going to start with the actual shaving part. So how do you shave down there? So it's important important when you are shaving that you shave in the right direction in which the hair grows. You want to hold your skin with one hand and then take the other hand with your razor. You want to make sure you avoid obviously holding too much pressure and you just want to do small little gentle stroke. When you are shaving, don't go in multiple different directions. Always stay in one direction because if you're doing shaving this way and then you go this way and then you go the other way, this is what's going to lead to ingrown hairs and cuts. So you want to make sure you're always going the direction the hair grows. The next step is to rinse it completely off and make sure that you're rinsing it off with some warm water. And then once you are done, you're going to go in and dry yourself off. But something that's really important to do to avoid irritation and bumps and redness is to pat that area dry as opposed to going so aggressive and rubbing it. And that will lead me to the last couple of steps that's really going to also make sure that you get a smooth shave and you don't have those red bumps or irritation down there. The next step is it's important to moisturize there as well. So once you are done, it's important to apply a non-scented moisturizer or baby oil. I actually have some baby oil here. You can go in straight with the baby oil and put it in that area and it's going to really moisturize 
guys and it's gonna feel super smooth another tip you could actually do is you could put a little bit of the baby oil into your moisturizer and I just have this Aveeno moisturizer you want to make sure that it is a fragrance free and you can actually put a little bit of the uh, baby oil into your moisturizers to make it even more moisturizing or you can even just go back in with your coconut oil and apply that all over the area because coconut oil is also just a great natural moisturizer whatever you end up doing you want to make sure that you just do not use things that are scented in that area that is what's gonna lead to irritation and my final step for that perfect smooth shave is like I said from the beginning you want to do this at nighttime so now it is time to go to bed so I always like to do this and this makes the biggest difference ever and that is to make sure that you don't put any underwear on right after and you wear loose clothing so wear a pair of loose shorts or loose pants with no underwear before you go to bed if you wear underwear to bed or you wear something tight in that area it's going to rub it's going to cause friction and you're going to see all those little red bumps in your bikini line which is so annoying especially when you're gonna go out the next day or something and wear a bikini or a bathing suit and you're going to see all that red bumps especially in the Sun want to make sure you also avoid tight clothing because that is what's gonna cause irritation cause redness and red bumps and it's not gonna give you that perfect smooth shape and that is all of my tips and tricks when it comes to shaving to avoid those ingrown hairs red bumps irritation itchiness all of that especially for the bikini line and as well as the area down there you can obviously use all these steps as well for shaving any other part of your body even if it's under your arms or on your legs or wherever you want to shave I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was useful like I said I will try to link all the products I did mention in the description box for you guys to go check out and pick up don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I do drop a video which will be soon of course and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!